Hi, my name is Spencer Trainum, Program Director for Boston Whaler. I'm lucky enough today to show you the hard work of a number of our designers and engineers, tradespeople back in Edgewater, Florida, aboard our brand new 325 Conquest. 325 is a keel up redesign. We've added 15 inches in length and three real different areas on the boat, starting here in the cockpit up to the helm deck that has plenty of comfort and a brand new redesigned cabin. Hop on and I'll show you why we call this our SUV of the seas. At the start of the vessel, we've got standard twin engine, 300 horsepower Mercury Verado power. We step up to 350 and 400 horsepower nodes as optional equipment. Very well integrated platform. We're getting very similar performance to the previous 315 Conquest. Great performance out of these engines. Moving forward, one of the bigger features on the boat that we brought in is a very popular dive door. So we've executed that here at the starboard side very nicely, very robust hinges with the flip out grab rail. Additionally, we've got a swim ladder that plugs in for easy uh, exiting the boat from the water or reboarding. It's all about accessibility to the water and doing it comfortably. Here in the center of the cockpit, we've got the landing for an optional cockpit table. How well integrated is that right there? We continue to do this throughout the vessel, well thought out, dedicated storage, You've got easy access to all your Seacocks, your 7KW Westerbeek generator. How many of you guys have ever been stuck in a bilge hatch up to your waist? I know I'm a pretty big guy and it's no fun. One of the many benefits to our Unibon foam filled construction is that we've got fully insulated 60 gallon fish boxes below deck, both port and starboard. We've got a dedicated insulated 30 gallon live well. Here at the port cockpit prep center, we've got a number of different features, starting with Handy storage, top and bottom, and an integrated summer kitchen. Prep your food, prep your fish, prep your bait. Flip it up, we've got an optional summer kitchen underneath with integrated grill storage, spice rack, however you want to use this little storage area. Really neat feature to be able to feed the kids while in the water or the guys while you're trolling baits. Below the summer kitchen, we've got an integrated footrest for the port side helm deck reversible seat. Additionally, behind this unit, you can't see it, but we've got Seakeeper gyro stabilization optioned on this boat. We've seen upwards of 90% plus roll reduction out of the unit. So here at the starboard prep, we've got this flip out integrated cutting board, flip up single freshwater spigot. Below that, 12 volt, 120 volt refrigerator. Storage on the standard boat here, we're showing with the, the gyro battery. So I mentioned how this boat has grown 12 inches in length. We took every bit of that length and gave it to the helm deck to execute some really com nice convertible seating. We simply flip this backrest back, and what we've got is double forward facing running seats. You get the lounging capabilities with the added feature of converting. So here we'll flip out. We've got a built in table. We'll just splay out, insert these two filler cushions. So in this configuration, we've got a nice four aft facing helm deck lounge. So from this position, we'll move into our outdoor dining arrangement. Sliding the seat forward, removing the last of our filler cushion, unlocking the table it's on a gas assist base, all the way up, relocking. Flip out for alfresco dining here at the helm deck. When we talk about enhanced styling on the new 325 Conquest, look no further than to these expansive side glass windows great 360 degree visibility. As you can see, I'm six foot four, about 250 pounds. I've got plenty of room here to navigate, to drive, to chart my next course, standing and sitting. We've got dual elevation footrest, so you can get a comfortable level regardless of where your feet want to sit. A helm seat that'll slide fore and aft to give you easy positioning to your integrated Raymarine electronics. Here we've got 16 inch axiom shown, We've got standard vessel view seven, and across the top of the dash, you've got all your 12 volt switches. So down below in our cabin, we've got excellent weather accommodations for whether you're overnighting or if it's a full weekend trip, fully built out galley with stove, refrigerator, storage, whatever meal it is you want, you can do it downstairs. In addition to that, we've got sleeping accommodations for four adults, two in the mid berth and two at a convertible four lounge. Starboard side of the boat, you've got a full height head, it's got a pull-out sprayer that doubles as a shower. 
The head is a porcelain unit with vacuum flush system back to the bilge. So here on the bow, we've got our standard ground tackle. It consists of a combination of road and chain. We've got a standard high bow rail, nice and secure feeling at the top. You can option it to have a split in the center of it, which is really popular overseas for egress and ingress from the bow. After all that, we've got an optional sun lounge with two built-in cup holders, handrails outboard of those cup holders to keep you nice, safe, and secure while lounging here at the bow. Well, that concludes the walkthrough of our brand new 325 Conquest. Quite a few features there that demonstrate this boat is equally capable of fishing, cruising, overnighting. It truly is a split personality, and it's why we like to call it our SUV of the sea. On behalf of our team and myself, I'd like to thank you for joining us. If you have any additional questions for follow-up on this model or the brand specifically, please head to bostonwhaler.com and check out our website there.